Hey, um, we get a lot of questions about how we mix our tortoise food. So I have a bunch of tortoise food here that I'm going to show you what we do um, for our daily kind of mix. Um, first, we get either Missouri. We have the LS Missouri, regular Missouri, or the grassland food. And we get it soaking in some water so it becomes um, kind of crumbly and it's easy to mix. I'll show you. I've had this kind of mixing for a little bit and it's super kind of mushy and falls apart, which makes it super easy to mix in with all the greens. So that's kind of what we start with. And I get my trusty food bucket and I just dump it in there like so. And then we're going to grab, I have some endive here, beautiful greens, and I'm just gonna get my bucket and I just start chopping. Um, you can get anything that's on sale. There's a ton of different greens that we do get. Um, you don't have to be really fancy with your chopping. If you only have one tortoise that you're doing this with, you know, you can just pick off, you know, one little branch or whatever. You don't have to do the whole thing. I don't mind all my children in the background running around. Um, anyways, like this. These bigger pieces, we um, feed to like the giant tortoises and they eat these really easily. But for babies and for the medium ones, we like to do that. So there's and dive, ready to go. And then this is escarole. And so again, just kind of, just a rough chop. Some people can make this look super fancy, but they eat it no matter what it looks like. So I just do it pretty quick. Like I said, not everybody is feeding an entire zoo like I am. So you don't have to have all these mixes. Um, variety is best. But if you don't have it, here we have dandelion greens. They love dandelion. So these are some of their favorites. So our grocery store sells them. So whenever I can, I grab a whole bunch. And the stem parts, I save for the bigger tortoises with the nice leafy greens. Um, I give to the babies. And a couple big ones for the adults. Um, let's see, I have some mustard greens. Okay, so mustard on its own is a little spicy. They don't necessarily care for it. Um, so if you have a one single tortoise that you're trying to feed, if you buy mustard greens and eat them yourself, then you can totally feed them this. But if you buy a huge bunch for just one tortoise, most likely they'll be a little bit picky and won't eat it. It is good for them. So we like to kind of get it, like mix it in the bunch when we can. Um, and we do a rough wash on all this stuff before we we start chopping, it's all kind of wet. Anyway, so far it's just a huge mixture of greens in here. Um, collard greens, a bunch of collard greens. They love these usually. Um, usually they don't, they're not picky about these at all. So they'll eat them right up. So again, I just put a little big pieces in there. Super exciting video of me talking things. But we do get a lot of people asking how we do it. So honestly, it's nothing fancy. This is basically it. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I have one last one. Um, turnip greens. Yep. Turnip greens. So these ones, they usually attack also. I would say dandelion is probably their favorite. Um, that and then the endive. Endive they seem to really like. And if I ever find a gross piece, then I just pull it out. They don't need to be eaten out. If I won't eat it, if it's questionable to me, sometimes I get it out of there. Okay, those are the good ones. Okay, so then spring mix we get also. If this has a lot of spinach in it, sometimes it will come with a lot of spinach. Um, then I don't buy it, but this one we bought for our family dinner. Okay, hold on. And um, it's it's great mix. Hardly any spinach in there at all. I don't see. Actually, don't see any. But it looks great. They love the spring mix. This is really easy to feed to the baby babies because it's really soft and it's a good mix. So this I'll just toss in because family's done with it. And I have a little bit of baby arugula. That was also for me. And arugula is a little peppery, it's a little spicy. I love it, but the tortoises don't seem to mind it. So I'll mix a little bit of that in there. 
too. Okay. So now I'm going to go grab the calcium and I'll show you how I just sprinkle that on. Okay. So as you guys can see, I have all the greens mixed in and all this Zoomed is kind of just falling apart into it. So every little piece of lettuce has little Zoomed bits on it. A lot of our tortoises have been having the Zoomed or Missouri pellets for a while now. So they'll just eat it plain, which we do sometimes when we don't have a ton of greens on hand, then we'll just soak the Missouri or the Zoomed and feed it to them and they love it. Um, so today, yesterday I did calcium already. We do calcium about two times a week. Today I'm going to do the uh, multivitamin. And so I just take it and sprinkle it in. Nothing fancy. Obviously, if you only have one little tortoise or a couple of tortoises, you don't need to do such a heavy dousing, but because I'm mixing such a big bunch, then I put quite a bit on. Mm -hmm. And then, have you guys heard of our herbal hay? So this stuff smells amazing. It's awesome. Hold on, Dex, I'll be there in a minute. Um, so this is it, and I just take it and I'm going to use quite a bit, again, because I'm mixing up such a bunch. And it sticks to all the lettuce because the greens are nice and wet. Mm -hmm. And I just mix it. And then I go out and I say, dinner time, and they all come running. But that's pretty much what we do. It's nothing fancy. If you don't have all this stuff on hand, it's no big deal. You can just do, um, uh, we just believe a variety is is great. We do cactus pads. We'll throw some pieces in here, bell pepper, zucchini squash, stuff like that. And then we just go and hand them out some, some grub. Oh, and uh, sometimes if we over mix or we mix up too much, or I just want to do it one day and then feed them for a little while, then I can keep this in the fridge. And then the next day it stays pretty nice and I just go and, and feed them again. But that's it. Woo.